Hey guys, what's up, Ravenhawk33? Back here with another video. So today I'm gonna be doing another um, blender um, banner tutorial because the last one was uh, it was pretty outdated and it's pretty bad. So uh, this is my first video with like goals, and the like goal for this video is five likes. I know we can do it. Let's get to five likes, and uh, yeah, then if I do get to five likes, you guys will have to challenge me on either send me your challenges on uh, either YouTube, Twitter, or Snapchat. I have a Snapchat. Uh, it'll be on the screen somewhere or in the description below. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is go on the internet and get Blender. So you can click on the download. Uh, you can go on uh, Blender, click on download. I'll leave the link in the description, of course. And uh, what you want to do is you want to download any Blender. and. 64-bit, 32-bit, okay. It's for uh, Windows, Mac, and uh, Linux. You can go ahead and just get that. Next step, what you want to do is get any font you want. Get any font. So I am going to be getting single sleeve. It looks pretty good, so I'm going to click on download. Going to download, you want to click on open. And that will come up if you're running out of WinRAR. And you would just want to press, in, press install. It will install, and then we'll X that out and bring it to your desktop or somewhere you will remember to put your, um, where you remember where your thing, where your font is. Next up you want to do, you want to open up Blender, and you'll have this. You want to, uh, delete the box, you want to click on OK. You want to go on View, Align to View, Align View to Active, Front, and then View, Align View, and then, um, Align active camera to view. Okay, and then you'll have that. Then you want to go here. You want to go here. You want to click on create. Go down. Click on text. Then you want to press R X nine zero, and your text will be all good like that. And then you want to press tab. Oh, actually, um, if you want, you can. Sorry, I'm forgetting stuff. Um, you want to. If you're on a laptop or something, you can just uh, bring that like that. You know, drag it. Click on the F. You wanna, you wanna have that thing there too. Uh, bring up the F. Click, uh, go where it says font. You wanna click on this. You wanna click on wherever you saved it, and then open your font. Then it, your font will be right there. So then you can um, type in your name. Mine is Raven. Oh, 53 and that's it then you press tab again and then it goes like that so if you want to scale it you can either press s which isn't really the best way or you can uh, make that go up or down depending on where you see that little green thing and you just want to try to pull it or if you can't really pull it just go off the screen and you can have like that so there it is. There you want to have space on the side. That's like a tip. You want to have space because in the next step, which is um, this stuff, okay, you want to extrude it as much as you want to. Extrude it like that. Make the revolution. Uh, you can either click on it and make it 100. And when you click on 100, it'll make it go to 32. That, don't worry. That's okay. That's the max it can go. And go on depth and you can like make it make it have a bevel you know stuff like that so that's uh, pretty much that extrude it a little bit more add another bevel and if it um so like if you want to make a big a little bit more bigger you can you know do that yeah that's pretty much a perfect fit you can just control and then you can yeah like that so that that looks good i like that and then you can uh, just drag that down if you like. And you want, and you can have it in the middle. If you, and the next step is color. So you click on this thing. You go on new, and here's your color. So you wanna click on um, that thing. You wanna click there. Okay? And you wanna, what you wanna do is you wanna either like, make it, you, you can make it whatever color you want. Okay? And if you want like, something like in the background you can add another text so r x 
0.90 and you can see it's right there your text and you can do all the steps again let me just show you so um, tab Ravenhawk 53 that it was like that basically and then you can um, extrude it the same amount you can right click the other one and then you can see how much you extruded it go on the other one make it the same amount so I did 0 0.116 click OK and you did the resolution resolution was of course um, 132 and then the bevel was 0.027 and then you can make it the same 0.027 click okay so then that's uh, pretty much ex pretty much the same S scale that down Use S. and you can take that to the background you can put it behind Wait, I swear I can do this. Okay. I'll put that behind. I need to make that a different color. So, like red and then it will look like that and you can move it however you want I think that on it, I, uh, um, I think that looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. But I'm just gonna change the color to like uh, green. So yeah, that um, so that's how you do that. I mean, it's um, a little bit of extra work, but yeah. So that's how you make it like that, basically. So then, what you want to do is you want to go on this world. And you want to click, you want to right click the blue, okay, you want to click on the world, ambient occlusion, environmental lighting, and that, approximate, and then do the same for the green. Sorry, that was just uh, someone commenting something. And then, same there, same on the green. See, it doesn't really change for some reason. And then you want to go, there you want to click on rgba click on shading click on transparent and then it'll do the same so yeah you're pretty much done now you could just click on render and then it will render your uh background or your uh logo banner thing and that's how it looks looks pretty good and then you can click on image save a copy and save it to wherever you want to save it i want to save it here and save a copy and what you want to do is you want to go down in the descri description and download um, download what there is to download which is this this template thing so then you want to go to where you saved your logo or banner and you just want to drag it and drop it and add layer oh whoops control Z that and then you can just like uh, size it or resize it or whatever. You know, I'm actually gonna do this. And I'm gonna add a picture. So.
a background. So for a background, just search up uh, any color. I'm gonna go for red again. And search up like grunge or gradient. So search up gradient background, red gradient background. And then you have like these really nice backgrounds or something like that. But honestly, I like grunge backgrounds more because they just look better. So red grunge background. Oops. And then you have uh, backgrounds like this. So they look really good. So I'm gonna get like this one. Copy. I'm gonna add a new layer, Control V. Make this all the way at the back. uploaded it looks it looks fine it looks great so select and then your banner should come instantly so yeah that's pretty much for this video so guys if you like this video please destroy that uh like button you know get me to that uh like rating so uh like goal i mean so yeah, if you did like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, you want me to do next, also want to subscribe. So uh, yeah.